各位观众，晚上好！您现在收看的是李奥社长新闻台，我是今天的主播李奥。今天要为您插播第一则报道：建长于一九二三年三期蒸馏厂，于今年推出一百周年的纪念酒款。这一次发表会特别邀请到三得利首席调酒师福宇生二来到台湾。福宇生二表示。身为传承三得利百年职人工艺的一份子，他认为三得利威士忌在过去一百年间固然经历了许多改变，无论是硬体设备的更新，或者是产品研发的创新，但是其实也有一些永恒不变的事物，那就是三得利对于追求品质的信念以及严谨的制酒态度，一百年来从未改变过。来，哎，是导播，怎么样？什么状况？啊？苏格兰弟弟插播。好的，我们现在连线到欧肯酒厂的 Neil，Neil，Hello， 你好。哦，他不会中文。Hello， 你哦，请说。Hello there is Neil from Ockentoshan Distillery here in the glorious warehouse number three. Here to talk to you a little bit about Ockentoshan Three Wood. Now Three Wood is by far my favourite Ockentoshan expression. Um, it is rich. It is sumptuous. It is the the, the gateway whiskey for me into the world of whiskey. This was the whiskey that convinced me that I wanted to be a whiskey drinker. It's all to do with the method of maturation. Naturally, it's Ockentoshan, so it's triple distilled for that elegance, that softness, that DNA of our distillery character. But it's what we do next in the warehouse that really fundamentally creates this fabulous expression. This particular expression is aged primarily in ex bourbon casks, and then it's progressed to Oloroso. It is then progressed again to Pedro Jimenez. So ultimately, this is a double finished whiskey. If you imagine, finished once, uh, sorry, matured once in bourbon, finished once in Oloroso, finished again in Pedro Jimenez. So rather than like a lot of different、um, expressions where we are pulling different casks and assembling them as a marriage, what we're doing with Three Wood is progressing the whiskey through these different casks, picking up those layers of flavour as we go. Phase one, we're going into bourbon. Now, when we age in bourbon, what we're delivering is golden, nutty, caramel. We've got that nice, slightly vanillaed, rounded, cereal-flavoured whiskey. That kind of quintessential archetypal Ockentoshan flavour, very similar to the American oak expression. What we do then is transfer the whiskey. So we take the, we vat the whiskey from the barrels, and then we transfer it into Oloroso sherry casks, much like this one sitting right here. Now, as we do that, what we're doing is bringing on layers from the Oloroso sherry cask. And as we do that, we're delivering colours of sort of dark bronze, that coppery,、um, fruity, spicy, rich, rounded flavours, and we're, we're adding texture and we're adding complexity. At that point, we will then vat the whiskey again, and we'll transfer directly into first fill Pedro Jimenez sherry casks. 什么？他用 first fill Pedro Jimenez 啊？怎么现在才说 ？PX for short. Although Pedro Jimenez is as much fun to say as it is to drink. And when we go into PX, we are then adding those layers of chocolate and cigar box and tobacco leaf and real kind of intriguing, intense, dark flavors. And what you result in is a harmonious, rounded, very sumptuous, easy drinking glass of single malt. Now, <clears throat> historically, we've been doing this for nearly 20 years now, where we have been aging bourbon first, Oloroso second, Pedro Jimenez third, and naturally, batch after batch, there's going to be inconsistencies because. The barrels are delivering slightly different results over slightly different times. There is no age statement for Three Wood. What we're aiming for is the perfection of the flavour. Now that that occurs in different timescales depending on the batch that we're producing, and with that we get inconsistencies in colour. And so, therefore, historically, we would have perhaps used a process known as caramel stabilisation. So, once the whisky is ready, we would vat it, we would filter it, and then it would be time to assess the colour. And for consistency, for our consumer perspective, we need to ensure that all of that whisky looks the same as it's leaving、um, the bottling line. Now, what we found lately with the、um, progression of the casks that we are getting, so that our supplier, our bodegas that are supplying us with the barrels, they are supplying us with more efficient casks, and that efficiency delivers more flavour in a shorter space of time, and also more colour. And it's often asked, 
why is three wood getting darker? Add, are you adding more caramel to make it look more enticing? And the answer is no. What we're doing is allowing the casks to deliver way more um, of their own character and we don't want to uh, limit the, the, the ability of the barrel to deliver colour. Um, in the past, if the whisky had looked too light, we may add E150, but these days what we're finding is that three wood is naturally getting darker. And that's a great thing because this natural colour allows for a, a very honest representation of what we have done to this whiskey. Bourbon first, Oloroso second, Pedro Jimenez third. And as that delivers, we're getting this wonderful rounding of all of the, the sort of the hallmarks of great matured whiskey with that DNA of Ockintoshan still intact. And the tasting notes haven't really changed. If anything, um, the, the intensity of colour may trick the eye into thinking that this whiskey is more intense, but actually it's still feather light, it's still rounded, but it has spice, it has richness, it has smooth chocolate tones, it has all of these wonderful aromas, which leads to me to be one of the best midnight whiskies, a whisky that is great for making an old fashioned. In fact, it's great for making a highball, but it's also great on its own. Think the whisky that you would pair with a cigar or with chocolate. It is balanced, it's poised, it's got such a lovely texture, very easy to drink. It's the best one we make. Slanch. 谢谢来自苏格兰欧肯蒸馏厂的插播报道以讹传讹